You see many times I listen and read what most Nigerians that live in US or UK, most especially UK, are saying online. Most of them are formatting rubbish. Yes, I uh, I'm saying this because of what I've seen. They complain that oh, Nigerians, you are not paying tax. How much is tax you are paying? You are paying seven point something you know, percent. You are paying ten percent, and in UK here we are paying forty percent, and so on and so forth. And before you cast me, before you judge me, I want you to listen to this message by Pastor Samadhi. And after you listen to the message, we now come back and talk about it, because I don't know why you will be reasoning like that. Can you compare the system in the UK or in the US to the system we are in Nigeria? Yes, you can compare. Everything is in place. Security, the water, the light, everything is in place. So you now want to compare to... What are you saying? Please, uh, let's listen to the video together. Let's listen. Let's watch the video together and, and see what this man of God is saying about this. Uh, you know, he has been the one talking about leadership and all that thing. That, so let's listen to him. Welfare programs. What a country does to take care of the people at the lowest level. I'll tell you, for example, that in the UK, if you're a legal resident, if you don't have a job, every week you go to the job center, they'll give you a check that they use to buy food. It's only for groceries, not for jewelry. You say, ah, where did they get the money from? Taxes. So there was a day we were discussing somewhere in the UK with some people who had left this time, and they were complaining about the government, that the government likes money too much. Tax, 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 tax everywhere. In Nigeria, we don't pay taxes like that. I said, well, that's fine. I said, you guys have an option. I said, you drive around here, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., it does not even cross your mind that an armed robber would attack you on the road. If you come over to Nigeria, we won't take as much taxes from you, but the people that will collect the money from you, they are waiting on the road. Which one do you prefer? I'm saying those welfare programs are very important. You'll be amazed how the motivation to commit crime will crash when somebody is able to eat. Uh, here the last point alone. I mean, here the last point again. You'll be amazed what's, uh, what will happen when someone that's supposed to commit crime, when someone that's supposed to commit crime is doing well because of what is, they are being fed with, because of you know, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Exactly to those Nigerians that used to foment rubbish, when they have the opportunity of traveling out, and they now think that uh, uh, things is expensive there. The system there is different from the system here. Now you got there, you are earning like uh, 15 pounds per hour. It's changing, it keep on increasing. The same rice you buy today, for maybe two pounds, it's still the same you buy next year for that same amount. And you are complaining, you want to compare to Nigeria where you buy rice for of for for one thousand naira today. In the next twenty four hours, now become three thousand naira. So what are you saying? What are you trying to tell us that the um, Nigeria is better than? You? Of course, there is a lot of things you can do in Nigeria. Business is good in Nigeria if you have your way around it. Of course, you can make good cool money. Or doing business in Nigeria, but you can't compare the security of Nigeria to those developing countries. You can't compare the system of buying things, the system of leadership in this country to those countries. So please, before you come online, before you come online and start vomiting rubbish, please think deeply, use your brain, and think before, think on how you waste. Um, living in nigeria before you travel to uk or travel to um whichever country you are please it's very very important that it's not that i'm hungry i'm just trying to uh, explain because when many people see those your vomiting rubbish they get angry they get annoyed and they now have this mindset that ah, UK, some people will have this mindset that ah, then definitely uk is not good uh, us is not good don't let them deceive you guys they are enjoying there. They are enjoying there. Of course, they work. The, the problem most of them have is that they don't have time. They, there is nobody to go out, walk into their house unannounced. 
and say hey, i want i came here to greet you because everybody is busy with their with their business if something like that is existing in nigeria we won't be complaining that you wake up in the morning go to work come back to come back late at night or work at the right time you want you want to work and you earn your money everyone is busy with their business so nobody no no gossiping nothing nothing so i want us to think very well before we start coming online and dropping rubbish online so please Please, you are hurting some people. Some people are being hurt with your words, with your um, your not challenged attitude, and um, your some so, some of you is not even the ignorance. Just that you just want to come and say something. So I, I want us to give our comment concerning the 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 short message we just watched by Pastor Sam Adeyemi. So what do you think? Uh, with the system of Nigeria, of course, with the taxes you are paying in UK, uh, or most of your family members are paying in UK, we compare to the taxes you are paying in Nigeria, and now compare the securities and every other aspect, especially the feeding part, the buying food part. Um, comment on the section below, on the comment section below. Let me hear your opinion. What do you think? What do you, what can you suggest? Uh, uh, that will make Nigeria better or how can we deal with these people that used to come on and say rubbish. Thank you. <laughs>